Good morning to everybody. I am Manita, Assistant Professor, Department of Biochemistry, St. Joseph's College of Arts and Science, Kadlur. So today, in this video, we are going to see about the topic, Nervous System. So these are all following topics that we are going to discuss. That is, Introduction to Nervous System and its Classification, Structure of Neuron, and third one is Classification of Neuron. So before we go to the topic, we just see what is and by nervous system. So generally, in case of human, there are two different ways through which our body can communicate. One is through impulse and second is through hormones. So these are all two factors through which our body can communicate. The main role of nervous system is it transmit signals between brain and rest of the body. And it is also responsible for coordinating the actions and transmission of sensory information. And in case of higher vertebrates, the nervous system is divisible into three parts. One is said to be central and second is said to be peripheral and third is said to be autonomic nervous system. So when you speak about central nervous system, it is again divisible into two parts. One is said to be brain and second is said to be spinal cord. So second part of nervous system is peripheral nervous system. So peripheral nervous system means the nerves which arise from the central nervous system is said to be peripheral nervous system. For example, if the nerve arises from the brain, then the name is said to be cranial nerves. If the nerves arise from the spinal cord, then it is said to be spinal nerves. And third part is autonomic nervous system. So autonomic nervous system means it's a chain-like structure that is present on either side of the vertebral column. And this autonomic nervous system is again divided into two types. One is said to be sympathetic and second is said to be parasympathetic. So next we are going to see about structure of neuron. So neuron is a largest cell in the body and it acts as a structural and functional unit of nervous system. And this neuron, it will be present in brain, nerve cord, nerve, ganglia and autonomic nervous system. So these are all region where you can find the neuron. And this when you speak about its shape, it will be either oval shape or flask shape or star shape. And this neuron is act as a basic unit of nervous system. That is, it's joined to form a whole nervous system. And this neuron, it includes three parts, namely cyton, second one is dendron and third one is axon. So these are all three parts that will be present in case of the structure of neuron. So first part is cyton. So cyton means the part of neuron that look like a cell. For example, a symbolic form of cell is it will be round and it will be covered by a membrane and center it contain nucleus and then that nucleus will be surrounded by the cytoplasm. So which part of neuron look like a cell, then that part is said to be cyton. The other name of cyton is soma or pericarion. And this cyton is covered by a membrane. So that is said to be neurilemma. And inner to that of neurilemma, there is a fluid-like substance. So that is said to be neuroplasm. And then inner to that of neuroplasm, it contains prominent nucleus, then small basophilic granules, mitochondria, Golgi complex and so on. So these are all different factors that will be present in to that of the neuroplasm. And it also contains fine filament-like structure. So such fine filament-like structure is said to be neurofibrils. So next we move on to second part of neuron that is said to be dendron. So this is a region where the dendron is present 
and this dendron is very short and it is branch like structure and it is highly branched and it also contain nissels granules and the mitochondria so main role of this dendron is it conduct impulse to the cyton so that is conducting the impulse to the cyton is the main function performed by the dendron so third part is axon so axon is a long process so it will be larger in size and it is less branched so this axon is covered by a membrane that is said to be axolemma and inner to that of axolemma there is a fluid like substance that is said to be axoplasm and here the nissels granules and mitochondria won't be present in case of the axon so main role of axon is it carries impulse away from that of the cyton and this axon contain many branch like structures so such branch like structures are said to be telondria and at the end of the telondria there is many minute knob like structure so that is said to be button terminex and one more important thing regarding axon is it will be covered by a special kind of cell that is said to be scavon cell and this axon when it is covered by a myelin sheath then it is said to be myelinated neuron and one more thing is if it does not contain any myelin sheath then the axon is said to be non myelinated neuron so this is about structure of neuron and next we move on to types of neuron so neurons are classified into many types and in many ways so first one is classification of neuron based on the process so first one is apolar neuron so apolar neuron means the neuron which does not have any process so if it does not have any process then it is said to be apolar neuron second type is unipolar neuron uni means single that is it contain single process that is axon and third one is bipolar neuron this neurons are spindle shape that is it has axon at one end and dendron at another end and next type is pseudo unipolar neuron this neuron at in case of initial it will be bipolar and spindle form and later it will elongate and it will divide and it will be converted to that of t shaped structure so this is pseudo unipolar neuron and last type is multipolar neuron so multipolar neuron means it has single axon and many dendron so these are all the classification of neuron based on the process so next we move on to classification of neuron based on its function so it is divided into three types so first one is receptor neuron or sensory neuron so this type of neuron it conduct impulse from the peripheral receptor to the central nervous system so such type of neuron is said to be receptor neuron or sensory neuron and second type is effector neuron or motor neuron so this neuron it send the impulses to the effector organ that is to muscles and glands so from the central nervous system impulse will be carried out to the effector organ then it is said to be effector neuron or motor neuron and third type is said to be interneuron so main role of interneuron is to combine the sensory and motor neuron so that is the main role of interneuron so next we move on to classification of neuron based on the histology so this is again divided into two types one is medullated which is otherwise called as myelinated neuron so as i said earlier if an axon is going to be covered by a myelin sheath or medullary sheath so such type of neuron is said to be 
medullator neuron or myelinator neuron. So it will be white in color and hence this neuron is said to be white neuron. So second type is non-medulated or non-myelinated neuron. So non-medulated or non-myelinated neuron means this type of neuron that is axon it won't be covered by a, any kind of myelin sheath. So they are said to be non-medulated or non-myelinated neuron and this neuron it will be gray in color. So they are said to be gray neuron. So next one is classification of neuron based on the release of chemical substances. So this is again divided into two types. One is adrenergic neuron and next one is cholinergic neuron. So adrenergic neuron means it releases hormone like substance that is called as sympathin during the impulse conduction. So this sympathin it will be similar to that of adrenaline that is adrenal gland secrete and kind of hormone that is said to be adrenaline. So it will be similar to that of so hence this neuron is said to be adrenergic neuron. Example is sympathetic nerves. And second type is cholinergic neuron and this neuron produces acetylcholine. So with the help of acetylcholine impulse will be transmitted. So these are all different factors through which we are classifying the neurons. Thank you.